Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our latest quick look here on the interwebs. Uh, I'm Dan Webb, I'm joined by Mr Richard Walker. Hello. And we're looking at Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Which is the next gen remake. Remake? Yes. Reboot? Not uh, reboot. Uh, remaster. remaster. Remaster, that's probably it. Yeah. Uh, running at super 60 frames a second. 1080p. Um, None of this 720 nonsense. Yeah, so look, so basically, so what's in the, uh, the new version? As you can see here, we've got everything. We've yeah. got all the weapons. Well, obviously, um, the main thing is the lovely new visuals. They look all tasty now. Looks amazing, actually. Really surprised how good it does look. Uh, new playable characters. So you can play as Virgil, and he has a bunch of outfits that we're not allowed to show. Yeah, so we're, we, we can only show Virgil. So yeah. this is why we're showing Virgil. Lady and Trisha in the game, but there's a catch there. Lady, you play as during Nero's section of the game, and Trish, you play as during Dante's. And if you'll remember, Devil May Cry 4, you play the first half of the game as Nero, the second half of the game as Dante, kind of coming back through what Nero's just been through, essentially. Uh, yeah, so that brings up the total number of playable characters to five, which is pretty neat. And there's also the uh, the legendary Dark Knight mode, which yes. was previously only available on PC many years ago. Yes, my understanding is that it's a sort of horde mode. Yeah, well, there's so no, it's the campaign, but there's more enemies. Okay. So, it, I don't know whether it doubles enemies, but there's more enemies, effectively. All right, the press release said you just have to deal with an onslaught of enemies, and I thought, well, that sounds like horde to me. No, it's it's, it's this, but with more more enemies. Jeez, it's hard enough as it is. All these extra difficulty modes is crazy. Yeah, but the whole idea of this this quick look is to give you a look at what it looks like. Um, we chose a section of the game that had some combat. Yeah. Um, that did not have many spoilers. Uh, we've got a boss fight in there. Um, we've got loads of little different creatures in there. And some uh, navigation we, puzzly bits. <laughs> you saw. Yeah, we jump back and forth as well. So in the middle, uh, we because um, it's been. Many years since I played this last, so it took me a while to get used to when it. When did it first come out? 2008? Yeah, 2007. I'm going to say 8. 8's a good show. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. And I reviewed it back in the day. So I absolutely loved years. it. <laughs> but yeah, and it took me a while because it, I, after playing DMC, the uh, version from Ninja Theory. Yes. Um, it makes it different. Like with that one, you hold the right trigger and the left trigger yeah, to get yeah. different weapons. With this, it's just left. Uh, L2 or left trigger right. changes what weapon you've got. So we've got okay. the, the three weapons down there, obviously. Yeah. I can't remember the names. Single sword. Well, well there's the Yamato, isn't it? That's, is that, his, that's main, the, his main katana, which uh, Virgil wields. Yeah, and then you've got the gauntlets, which are called. Uh, Force Edge, was it? No, Force Edge are the two Beowulf. swords. Beowulf. Beowulf. The Beowulf is the gauntlets. Um, yeah. yeah, so this, like, obviously, we don't matter. This is not in order at all. Um, right. But people who are probably going to play this have already played it. Yeah. Um, well, newcomers, you know, might like to discover it on their yeah. new gen console of choice. It will be out on Xbox One and PS4, obviously. Yeah, and we're playing it. Um, this is the, the PS4 version. Yeah, right? on the yeah. debug version. So we've we put in a few codes, which gives us um, unlimited. No, actually, not unlimited. Just loads of health, uh, loads of devil trigger. Yeah. And. Um, fully leveled up weapons. So if you're watching this thinking, man, these guys are awesome, they've got two energy bars and loads of devil trigger. We're not. We just cheated and unlocked it. Well, I, I think back in the day I, I did. I was okay at this. I completed it on, uh, what was it, Devil Hunter difficulty. And I tried to go back and do a second playthrough on a higher difficulty and got stuck on one of these laser rooms. You know what, I remember this now. I, I got halfway through Devil Hunter Yeah. and then my disc was scratched and it wouldn't oh, really? load up the next bit. Oh, that's so, yeah. Insane. That's upsetting. Because there's, no, there's no predicting that, is there? No, absolutely not. Um, so I remember all these time slowing bits. They were, they were frustrating. Yeah, we've jumped back to the lift now. I just wanted to show yeah. that little night thing because mm -hmm. uh, I mix up the weapons and you get to see the combat yeah. um, super quick. And oh, I hate this. The thing is, you've cut out all the bits where you were struggling a little bit with these bits. No, not really. No? Oh, no, actually, I did, yeah. Just, just, yeah, once you get kind of knocked down, you get knocked into a loop that you can't get up from. Yeah, like, here, yeah. Yeah, like, but if you got knocked in a different direction, that could have been but pretty I, bad. But I, here you go, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually stuck and I managed to kick out and I, I had to walk <laughs> up onto this lift here. Oh, okay. I completely lost my bearings. That, that was alright. The problem is it's still got the old camera angles and stuff, so that in terms yeah. of gameplay, nothing's really changed. Well, I, do you know what? I've played it a little bit uh, while you were out of the room, and what I found jarring is how slow the camera turns. Because you can turn the camera a bit, but it just feels sluggish. Yeah. Um, I, love it or hate it, Ninja Theory's DMC was 
bloody good. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then I mean, playing this again, this is still great, don't get me wrong, but you see how much Ninja Theory did to make it a bit more accessible. Oh, and, I was just uh, about to go less right then. A bit speedier. But yeah, it's great with the combat because obviously t in order to get your S ranks and stuff you have to mix your combat up, you can't do exactly the same oh, over and over again. Getting an S rank in this is really hard. In DMC it was quite easy, Ninja Theory's DMC. In this you really have to earn it. Well you, you have to mix the, the switch up the weapons, look at how many uh, blood we have. What's that? I forgot what they're called now. <laughs> hey? Orbs. Orbs. Like the red, red orbs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like blood echoes, I've yeah, been yeah, playing smoke S rank. Nice. Um, but yeah, so we just wanted to show a bit of that and then it running in its amazing it 60 does look frames fantastic. glory. I'm yeah, genuinely taken aback by how good it looks actually. It actually it ages quite well once you get used to if yeah. you haven't played DMC, the Ninja Theory version, yeah. then I d I don't think you'll feel too far out of the yeah. loop. But because uh, I did play that. Yeah. And we're massively yeah. overpowered for this, but it's great. Well that's it isn't it, we've been playing DMC a lot because obviously the um, Definitive Edition came out. Yeah. So going back to this it is a little bit of a, a change. Yeah. Um, but it's just getting used to it again isn't it? Yeah and after playing Bloodborne though, these, these bosses are a little bit easier. Yeah, I bet. So, I don't really remember this guy that much. It just takes me a while, this is the guy that you basically um, bring down, you have to kill him to bring down the tree. Right. That, that opens up the bridge that you get over to the other. Because right. this is nearly halfway through the game. I think this is like Act 7 of 19. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you then have to fight your way back through the levels that you already made, which is one of the biggest complaints a lot of people had with DMC. Yeah. I think it was my biggest complaint. It's a game of two halves, and yeah, those halves are just playing as different characters in the same yeah. game, essentially. No, different enemies, a few different variations, but yeah. A little bit lazy, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, well, DMC didn't have that problem, did it? No, the Ninja no absolutely not. But, no. like, I mean, it's, it still handles great, and you've got all the... Once you get used to it again, it all comes second nature. It's like, oh, I've got the warp ability, which means I can lock on and do that. Mm. Which, like, when you think about it, DMC really, like, Ninja Theory didn't change up the formula that much. No. It, it's very akin to this. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the moves, you're, you know, instantly recognisable. Like the Stinger, you know, you, you, you're pulling that off a bit, weren't you? Probably yeah. Virgil's variation there, of anyway. Uh, uh, the boss fights in this game are tough. I remember one with the giant fire beast, and I beat him and he blew up and killed me at the end. Well, that's what... Was that not Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> oh, it might have been. Oh, God, it was. It was. I was, I was about to say, wow. Because yeah, you mentioned it earlier, I was like, I have no idea. Right? Yeah, okay, so I'm wrong, I'm getting it confused in Ninja Gaiden. Uh, do, you, do you not remember how this game, like the, the last section of this game, is they just spam all the bosses at yeah, you that's right. as you work your way up the stairs? I remember that very It was well. like, cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's out June. Uh, we'll be showing it more off at the MCM Comic Con, so uh, do tune in. And thanks very much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us, everyone. Bye. Bye.